you... Well, explain something to me. What are you doing here? Why are you in my kitchen with this? The, what is this? It's a center console for a GMT 400. Okay. So this came out of a, I think a 98 Yukon, I believe. And this is going to go in the Silverado. Okay. You know why it's going in the Silverado? Why is it going in the Silverado? Oh, well, it's broke. Ah, uh, okay. So we have to do this you to know, get it fixed. Like, kind of like fall apart in that truck. You right. Somewhat fairly not bad. Only bad thing about it was this is broke. No big deal. I only bought it for the, for the bottom piece, anyways, really. Okay. So, I mean, the process of getting this stuff cleaned off because it smells like shit. Uh huh. And it was sticky as fuck, also, too. Okay. So, we got the. What's this? The Bissell little green machine. Mm. Uh, we got some. Ultra. Okay. Spray bottle and some solution. Okay. Gonna clean it up. And we go put it back in the truck tomorrow after it's gonna dry. Well, alright then. So we're gonna start this off. Spray this shit down. Mm. What else do you think can work as a Quick little touch-up job, I guess you can say, when it comes to cleaning. Cleaning this? Yeah. Uh, well, anything in poster you want to get, anything in poster you want to get something like uh, maybe some of this stuff, um, carpet shampoo. Um, awesome, you can get that at a nine-nine cent store if they still sell it there. Okay, awesome. They do. Awesome. For real heavy, heavy stains, you can use some of this and like some Dawn if you had like. Um, oil grease in there or whatever that'll work it'll come out also too if it works for nature it should work for the upholstery uh, that this little brush might not be strong enough for the grease and oil so you want to use like a tire brush mm. some a little more strike to it but you can really get in there get that shit with it got it okay I'll let this sit spray it down let everything sit let everything soak in and Mm -hmm. Trying to bring all the dirt to the surface somewhat. So just spraying it down with just you know some water and some uh, pocket cleaner, basically. Mm -hmm. And just get everything on it, you know, wet. And try to bring some of the surface dirt to the bring the buried dirt to the surface. Right. And hopefully, it smells good also too. Well, all right. All right. <laughs> Shit, really? Our children. Anyway, so I don't know if I told you, I bought this from eBay for what was it, hundred bucks? I think so. I think about hundred bucks, and this is the best I could find for the price I want to pay for it. And it's actually fairly clean. The other thing, only thing bad is this part up here. It's broke. But that's no big deal. Other than that, it's, it's pretty clean though. I'm satisfied with everything when it works fine other than, like I said, the top part, but I got something for that. So anyway, let the stuff sit in there for about 10 minutes now. I'm gonna go ahead and, um, Use my little brush thing here and start scrubbing away with this thing. And hopefully everything will come out decent. Come on, clean. You know, clean, clean, clean. But it'll come out better than what it was when I got it. So start scrubbing it. Oh, it's kind of dry now. Unless it just sticks it on. Got to get it moist. <laughs> get up in there. Scrub. Tire brush on that on this because it's too fine and tear, tear the carpet up on this. It's not this is not like carpet you see on the floor. It's like upholstery carpet, armrests, seats, and stuff like that. Tire brush is a little too abrasive for this. Let's just scrub it. You know. and then we'll 
let it sit for a minute. Well, no, no. Suck it up. Suck it up, suck it up. This side be dirty because it's the driver's side. Well, it's for the driver's seat. So, of course, you know, all day, every day, that's going to happen. So, this side might not come out as good as this side will, but that's all right because this is going to get recovered in leather. I'm cleaning because it stinks. And it was dirty. Yeah. So, you guys notice I got leather in my Silverado. This is cloth, obviously. So, yeah, it's going to get recovered. Don't worry about it. Don't trip. This is just, you know, for the time, I only bought it basically for the bottom piece. Um, this part coming off, so anybody has a, I think a 95, 98 Silverado, Yukon, Suburban, Tahoe, whatever, with the jump seat in, the whole bench seat, you can use the bottom portion of an OBS with the lid of an NBS off of a 2000 to 06 or 07 classic. They'll fit. I haven't done it yet, but. The more you fit. know. I think it'll fit. I think it will. If it does fit, I'm just order the lid for it and just swap them out. We should have had like the reading rainbow sound. <laughs> Half it at that, at that moment. Sound. That's, that's, yeah. You're not doing all that. <laughs> the more you know. <laughs> Knowledge is power. <laughs> It, but you know what? Like, like I said, I'm, I'm going to try it and see if it fits. If it fits, then I'm going to go ahead and rock with it. I like the MBS lids anyway. It's compared to these. These are kind of like useless. Put papers and pens in here, but I don't. Papers and pens in there. It comes in handy. It's not a race truck. Well, it's a, it's a street truck, not a race truck. So I don't even drive as it is now, really. <laughs> All right, let's suck this up. I got this at Walmart two years ago for like 80 bucks. And I've used it for almost everything. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's pretty dirty. Mm hmm. Maybe we just figured it's 20 years old, also, too. That's not really bad. Looking that good. That was in Serato. That was horrible. Yeah. That was horrible. You probably get water. Or stop the water. So? Mm -hmm. Alright, Josh, so I finished up. Cleaned everything off, got it all cleaned up and shampooed and everything. Came out very, very good actually. In my opinion, it did. Y'all seen the dirty water? See, I know it was dirty, so came out pretty good actually. Just gotta let it dry now, and then I'll stove it in later on. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'll probably put it in tomorrow. Being it's Saturday now, I should put it in tomorrow and make it one video. Okay, why not?
the main thing with doing this was it was really really sticky and it smelled like industrial piss. Ew. I guess I don't know, but it did stink very very bad and. I wasn't feeling how it was smelling. I know it's old and, you know, whatever the case may be, it was probably in a warehouse for like a year or something before I bought it. So, just getting everything cleaned out. I'll show you the whole one tomorrow. I'll show you the other part of this video tomorrow. That one's horrible. It's got like all caked up stuff in here. This thing comes off. This thing half ass opens. It's so, all fucked up. Yeah, so I'm just, like I said, I only bought it because mine was messed up. I'm going to get it recovered in leather. Uh, I went to the sunroof shop today out in um, Walnut Creek, California. Met up with one of the uh, one of the guys on the uh, Instagram page. As a matter of fact, I think it's uh, AR Sunroof is his name, I believe, on Instagram. Shout out to him. Um, looking at getting dynamite on the roof of the car, new headliner, whole new sunroof. And getting the visors recovered with LED lights in them. So that was like about like twenty two hundred dollars to get everything done. So you know, on the sunroof, look up AR sunroofs. He's out of Walnut, California. Walnut Dude. Creek. Yeah. Yeah, Walnut Creek. Yes, Walnut <laughs> California. Yeah. After he's at, he's got a shop over there, um, off of uh, six eighty in uh, Main Street. Uh, look him up, man. He does a lot of Silverado sunroofs, crew cab, regular cabs, Indian cabs. A um, couple Dodge, couple Fords, a couple Toyotas, but he does pretty good. Uh, I'm getting the kit for its uh, signature sunroof 925 model. Mm -hmm. and it's the biggest one they have. Right? Sounds fancy. So I got a big ass sunroof in my car. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I realize that my sunroof is 12 inches larger Damn. than a stock sunroof. Damn. GM car. Damn. So, yeah, had to get that one. So, hold on, I cut for it. But yeah, I catch y'all tomorrow. I'm going to uh, put this in tomorrow. I'm going to drive overnight. And then I'll bring you guys back tomorrow and show you me putting this in and pulling the old one out. I'll show you the old one too. The old one's fucked up. Alright, y'all. Peace out. Catch y'all tomorrow. Hey, what's up, guys? This is uh, part two to the center console video um, in the Silverado. Kind of started the video a little late. I was on the phone talking to somebody. So, um, so far, I just only pulled off this. This was sitting right there. And it's uh, one screw in it. Phillips head screw. And it's got two bolts like that that go behind here. They're 10 mils. So, this is already out. That's out. And in theory, this thing should pop right out. So, let's see. Go to the driver's side. I got the new one in the house. Cleaned it up yesterday. Um, it's hard to dry, ready to go in. This should just come right out. Let me pause real quick so I get this out. Alright, it's out. I had to push it that way and then this way to get it out. This one's broke. So, as you can see, this the back of it. It's broke. That's broke. The usual. This part is broke also. Same thing on my new one I got. I'm going to track down this piece by itself. And um, get it. But I, I really think the NBS ones out of, out of the 2000 Silverado Sierras. I think that lid fits on top of it. Because they're shaped the same. And it's the same brackets on the back of it. It's the same ones. So I'm going to see if it fits. I, I might just order one. Just the lid part. To see how that works out. Let me get this out and get the new one out here, and then I'll bring you back in a second. All right, guys, here's the new one I got. Uh, I got this in yesterday off eBay. This was uh, 75 bucks um, plus shipping. Only the only downfall it is is a uh, little clip that clips into here. That part there, it's broke off. But it has the peg there. That's in good condition. If you can see mines. Mines is a little warped and beat up and everything. Like I said, this thing's broke. Yeah, this is all broke. Yeah. So let me go ahead and um get this in. And you probably wonder, like, okay, this is cloth. You got leather interior. I'm gonna get this rewrapped. I'm gonna get that insides done. I'm gonna get this rewrapped. Um, I'm gonna get everything back gray. I'm um probably get new door panels probably for it. I'm gonna take these off. This um glue on shit or 
if they can pull it off and kind of clean it up. I'm gonna get this done in leather. I think it's for it, but it was glued on. I'm gonna get it stitched on. And then I'm gonna have a centurion put in here on all four corners. And then um, I'm gonna get the, the back lights here. These are like dummy, like reflectors. I wanna get an actual light in there, like it is on the front. You can't see it's on now, but yeah. So let me get this stove in and um, I'll bring you guys back in a second when I get it in there, all right? Cool. All right, guys, got it in. Went in, no problem. Went in actually pretty good, actually. You know? It's got that locking mechanism in them. So, yeah, lift it. Or something like that, but I don't know, it comes down. It's the same thing as that one back there. Except for this one. They get hung up a lot. This one doesn't come down. I got it down once before. It's like some way you gotta pull it out, I don't know, but what, I don't care. It's in. So, um, should I put this in here and I'm done, that's it. All right, y'all, peace out.